Uh, Derek, you kind of touched on some identity issues in terms of what it means to be the church and what it means to be uh, United Methodist. So what uh, preoccupations and passions do you think people would see and say are contemporary marks of United Methodist? Mm. My students tell me that when they think about the United Methodist Church, they think about everybody being welcomed. They think about deep community, deep community affiliation. And they, I, was, I wanna unpack that a little bit, that deep community affiliation. They, they look at me and they look at me and my involvement in the UMC and they're aware that I'm deeply connected to our district um, and the local churches here in our district. But then they know that um, I have deep connections within our conference. And so Florida is a very large conference in many ways. We go just west of Tallahassee, um, all the way down to the Florida Keys. And our students know that I have connections all across Florida based on the United Methodist Church. And then they're like, but you know people all in the Southeast as well and you're in communication with them. And then people all over the country and all over the world and you're Facebook messaging people who are um, on the ground in Africa and friends in Europe and, and all of this because of the United Methodist Church. And they're like, there, is, there are very few organizations that cre create that kind of network, that kind of close, um, network of concern and care and and accountability and so they for them they see the united methodist church as yeah this i'll use the word connection that has got depth and is and um it is not just for work and and getting things done but there's actual flesh on that so that's one of the hallmarks that connection that that network um, that deep, deep community that is, that is global. And then my students understand that to be United Methodist means that we do not simply get to say, hey, I believe a thing, but we've got to go deep with that thing. We've got to read scripture and understand how scripture affirms or does not affirm that thing. We've got to think theologically. Um, and then we've got to engage. It's got to be more than just words but there actually has to be action connected to that. And I, I, do, I do think that these are incredible hallmarks that um, I currently experience in United Methodism, but I'm heartened again that my students see it and they, they appreciate it. And I had a student tell me uh, the other day, you know, Derek, you keep going, you're gonna convert me to United Methodism. And I was like, that's cool. It's like, this has been your plan all along. So, I mean, I don't talk about it. And you do the thing you feel like Jesus is telling you to do. But if I got to say, yeah, I want you to be a United Methodist. And I'll tell you, Kimmy, they are not mad. <laughs> they are not mad at all. Um, and so, yeah, those are the things that I think, um, those are hallmarks. Those are attributes of, of our church that at least... The young adults in my sphere of influence are uh, picking up and experiencing.